This is part two of making Ninja Jumper with Pi Game on Mu. So we're going to have a go at making the platforms. So the platforms are going to look like this. So we're going to have nine stationary platforms and then two moving platforms. Okay, so the way we're going to make these is using the rect. So that's making a rectangle. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to write out the uh, coordinates and the sizes of these rectangles. So here they are, 1 to 9, okay? Uh, you've got your X and Y coordinates for the left top corner of where the box is going to start being drawn. And then you've got the size in X in pixels and Y in pixels, okay? So you can just pause the video at this point and copy out these lines, okay? And then you'll have the rects ready to draw those platforms. What you also need is you need a list called platforms. Okay, um, the list there obviously indicated by the square brackets. And then inside that list, you're going to have all of the things that the ninja can stand on. Okay, so you've got floor, which is the, obviously the, the bottom one, and then you've got all the different platforms. Okay, so just pause the video there and then type that up. Once you've done that, we then need to draw those platforms. So we're already drawing the floor there, okay? Um, but instead of using, doing that, what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be um, using a loop to draw those items. So I'm, I'm actually going to say for i in platforms, okay? So as we go through that list, okay, we're going to go grab those items out of that list and then we're going to draw them. So we're going to go screen dot draw dot filled rect so filled rectangle and then we're going to go through that list so we're going to go i and that's going to take each item from the list and then we're going to set the color which is ground color okay and then that's going to draw those platforms so let's just play that there you go, so there my platforms have been drawn. Now that I'm actually drawing the floor as part of that loop, I don't actually need this line anymore. So I can actually remove that line because it's otherwise we're just drawing it twice, it's not necessary. So there we go, and there we've got all of our platforms. Right, so now we're gonna have a go at making the moving platforms. Okay, so they're a bit more tricky. We're gonna need to add a few more lines of code and we're gonna have to create a function that moves them. So let's get started just by setting them up. Now, the platforms are going to be between platforms uh, 6 and 7. Okay, so they're nearly at the top. That, that's 6 there, and then that's 7 over there. So we're going to have the platforms between those two. So I, I'm just going to put the code in there. And um, we need to make up a new variable. We need to make up the x, uh, a variable that's going to store the x coordinate for that platform that's going to allow us to move it backwards and forwards. So I'm going to call that plat, just 61, just so it fits in chronologically. Um, 61x and it equals 200. So that's going to be the one on the left hand side that's going to start moving. And then I'm going to say plat 62 underscore x equals 700. That's going to be the right hand one. Okay. And then we need to make up the rects for those, um, those moving platforms as well. So we need to do that first of all here. So we're going to say uh, platform 61 equals, and then we're going to use this rect. So I'm just going to copy and paste from the one above because we're just going to make some slight changes. Just copy that. Oops, wrong place. And paste. Okay. And we are going to have the x coordinate rather than being fixed. That's where we're going to put in the variable that we've just created and we're going to place that in there so the, the we're going to be changing this x coordinate okay everything else can just stay the same for now um, I'm just going to grab that whole line copy paste and now I'm going to do platform 62 is going to use this platform 62 x coordinate um, again at the same all the other same locations just because it's in line with those two platforms that's why it's all at 200 from the from the top okay so we've added in our variables um, now we want to um, draw them okay so we want to draw those those platforms so obviously to draw them we need to add them to the list that means that uh, 
they're going to be drawn when we do this loop down here. So we need to add in the names to the end of this list. So it's obviously going to be platform 61, platform 62, platform 61, platform 62. Okay, so now when I run this, yep, we've got the platforms have been drawn, but they're stationary. Okay, so now we need to create um, a variable. Uh, no, we don't. We need to create a function which is going to um, move those platforms. Okay, so I'm going to go down to here and maybe just under the update function, that's where I'm going to make my platform mover function. So I'm going to say def platform underscore mover. Okay, um, and then straight away I'm going to need to globalize all of those um, variables. Okay, so I'm going to have to say global uh, plat 61 x and then plat 62x. Okay, and there's gonna be a few more we're gonna do in a second, but I'll just get started. Okay, so then um, we're gonna to need to start our function. But the thing is with our, with our function that's gonna be moving them backwards and forwards, we want it to get to one end, reverse, and then go back the other way. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna store the direction that the platform is traveling in we're going to store it in a uh, in a variable, but we're going to use a boolean operator. So we're going to say um, plat six oops, plat sixty one left equals true. So what we're saying here is is platform sixty one traveling in the left direction? We're going to say true. Yes, it is. And then plat sixty two left is the is that one platform traveling in the left direction we're going to go false so when this game starts off um the, the the 61 platform is going to be traveling left but the 62 platform is not it's going to be traveling right just to make it a bit more interesting the platform's going in opposite directions when it starts so let's go back down to our our function and we're going to have to globalize those variable those two variables as well so plat 61 left and then plat 62 left, great. So let's do the first platform now. So if platform 61 left, okay, so if that is set to true, okay, then we're gonna move that platform from the left to the right. So we're gonna say plat 61 left x plus equals two, okay? Um, so that's gonna slowly move it to the left, but we don't wanna just keep moving sorry, move to the right, it's gonna go from the left to the right. So we don't want it to keep moving to the right, because otherwise it will just go straight off the screen and we won't see it again. So we're gonna say, if plat 61 underscore x equals 400, so if it gets to the point that we're happy for it to turn around, okay, then we're gonna set plat 61 left, we're gonna set that to false. Oops, there we go. Okay, so that's when it's traveling in from left to right. So now we need to do the opposite way around. Okay, so if it's traveling from right to left and that, that Boolean variable is set to false, then we're gonna go down to here and we just go in the opposite direction. We can probably get away with a bit of copy and paste at this point. So plat61, instead of going positive, we're just gonna go negative. Okay, and then if it get back gets back to 200, we're then going to set it to true. Okay. Um, I won't run the program yet because we haven't done the finished off the drawing part, so it won't actually work at the moment, so I won't be able to test it, but I'm pretty sure we're on the right tracks. Um, now we'd need to do the code for the other platform. So I'm just going to grab all this code and do just a copy paste. And now I'm going to be changing the names. So rather than platform 61, it's platform 62, and then platform 62, X is changing. Oops, I started a bit too low, didn't I? There we go, 62, no, nope, wrong bit, back again. Back, back, right, let's get this, let's try and get this right. So that's the first bit. Let's put some comments in to make it really obvious. So first comment, so this is the left platform. This is why comments are really helpful, gents, because when there's lots of code on the screen, it's very easy to get mixed up. And this is going to be the right 
platform. Okay, let's get this right now. So if platform 62 left, then we change the 62, 62. Now with the coordinates for this 62 one are going to be slightly different, obviously, because it's going to be on the other side of the screen. So I'm going to set that one to 700 and then that one to 500. Okay. And then that's going to be two, and then that's going to be two, and that's going to be two, and I nearly missed one. There we go. I'm sure there would be a much more efficient way of making up this function, but this one worked for now. Um, so there we go. So if you want to ha copy that code, you can pause the video at this point and have a go at copying that in. Uh, and that looks good to me. So now we're going to move on. Now, if I was to run this code now, um, even if I was to call that function here, so if I go platform mover in my update function. So it's going to run this function, but let's see, it's not actually going to work. It's not going to do anything. Um, I made a mistake in spelling. Let's have a look, line 45. Uh, yep, it was just a space. And I made another spelling mistake. It's 49 there. Is there going to be any more? Let's have a look. Yep, one more. 54. So they obviously, that's what happens if you copy and paste incorrect code, you copy and paste your errors. So there we go. So I've added that function and the function is running because we're not getting any errors now. Um, but um, it obviously, it, it's not moving those platforms. Just to prove to you that it is running that function. Inside that function, I'm just going to call a print and let's just do like, for example, plat 62 without the space and getting it wrong. Uh, plat 62x. So now you can see at the bottom of the screen, uh, in the bottom left corner, you can see that that variable is changing and it is going down and then it's going back up again. Um, so it is working, uh, but um, it is, uh, it's not displaying it on the screen. Um, I, looking at those numbers, it looked like it was jumping up and down. So I think I've made a little bit of a mistake there. We'll come back to that in a bit. Um, so now we are going to have a go at the drawing function. Yeah, so even though we've drawn the platform once up at the top, this code is only ever run once at the start of the game. So we need to actually um, update the X coordinates because those X coordinates have been fixed now at the start of the game. And even though it's drawing that platform over and over again, um, inside that platform's details, if you think about it like that, the, the, the X coordinate has not changed. So we need to, continually update that rect and update that that position in the list with the new information so it moves that platform so we actually need to write out that code basically the same code again so we need to write platform 61 platform 62 we can actually copy and paste these two lines copy and paste them into there and then what we need to do is we need to update this position in this list because this is going through this list, okay? And this list has actually stored all of these rects. It's stored them all. But even though we've updated this, uh, this variable, um, platform 61, platform 62, okay, um, it hasn't updated it in the list. So we need to go in and we need to overwrite that position in the list. And we say platform z square bracket 10 and then plat forms square bracket 11 okay and we need to overwrite those so it's actually going to go into that list go to that position in the list and then it's going to overwrite them with the latest information so we're going to say platform 61 so position 10 which remember we've got zero indexing in list so it's going 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so that's position 10 that's position 11 we're then saying platform Oops, keep doing that, 62, there we go. So now it is gonna draw those things, but I think I have made one more little mistake, which we'll have to correct. No, I haven't, I thought I'd made a mistake, but there we go. So, um, so there's my platforms, they're moving backwards and forwards. Uh, we've got our nine platforms and two, uh, nine stationary platforms and two moving platforms. Okay, so using the skills you've you've watched in this video, you should be able to actually make your own custom layouts. So obviously, this is the this is the layout that I've made, but you should be able to make your own custom layout or even multiple levels by changing these coordinates and changing where the uh, where the platforms have been drawn. 
Okay, so that was part two of drawing uh, ninja jumper platforms with Pygame on Moo.